Marine turtles all over the world right now are currently under threat, and unfortunately, a large part of the problem is humans. Habitat destruction and pollution are just some of the ways we are hurting our turtle friends. Of the seven species of marine turtle, six live on Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Two, the loggerhead and olive ridley turtle, are listed as endangered and could become extinct unless something is done. Luckily for the marine turtles, something is being done. Well, Nick, it looks like you have quite a large amount of uh, sick marine turtles here at Reef HQ. What's going on? Yeah, definitely. We're at capacity at the moment. Um, in the last financial year, we've had 57 sea turtles come in. And in the previous financial year, we only had 19, so it's definitely on the increase. Yeah, that's an incredible increase. So what do you think that is for? It's likely due to the extreme weather events we've had of late and, and all over Queensland. So it's not just Townsville or North Queensland, it's the entire Queensland coast, east coast. Uh, and, and what happens is when those, we get those cyclones and those major flooding events, it, it impacts greatly on these guys' uh, feeding grounds, which is the seagrass habitats. And how many turtles do you have at the moment? At the moment we've got 15, but hopefully that'll go down when we release a few today. With millions of litres of water in the ocean, dropping one plastic bag may seem insignificant, but if you happen to be the turtle that swallows that plastic bag, you could be in for a world of trouble. So who are we looking at here, Nick? So today we've got Ross and Polly in this tank. Okay, now how'd they end up here at Reef HQ? These little green turtles, um, it was found stranded on the beach after floating, uh, and that's what they, they came in with, floating syndrome, which can be caused by a number of different things. Okay, can you tell me a bit more about floating syndrome? Yeah, often it's caused by a, a gut impaction, so when they swallow something that they're not meant to, like Polly here swallowed a plastic bag, uh, and that causes a blockage in the gut, which builds up gas in the gut, which means they start to float like a balloon. That's terrible, and obviously they can't die for food. Yeah, and all their food's at the bottom. Being green sea turtles, they tend to feed mostly on seagrass, and that's right at the bottom, so it makes it very hard and, and means they start to starve. Now, today's quite an exciting day because you're doing some releases. Yeah, are they ready? They're ready, yeah. They've been here a few months at uh, different times for each of them, but they're all fit and healthy now. We're heading down to the Strand, a beach in Townsville, to give Polly a shore release. The tag she's been fitted with will identify her if she ever comes through the hospital again, but hopefully she never will. Looks like total release has been successful. Well done. Thanks, mate. Yeah. So, so tell me, what do you reckon they're going to do from now? Well, hopefully go out and start feeding, you know, start mingling with the population that's out there already. It's, it's a quite a large population of green sea turtles in this area. Cool. You picked a good day for it. Yeah, it's a really good day, beautiful day from North Queensland. So what's it like to release a turtle that you've been actively rehabilitating over such a long period of time? Yeah, definitely it's the best part of my job. Um, we've released a fair few now, um, and there's still a fair few back in the hospital that need a lot of attention, so that's, that's what we'll focus on next. Well, Ben, it's nice to see you involved with the, the sea turtle release. Uh, obviously, you care quite a lot about the, the local environment and the animals out here. What's it like for you? I think that's probably one of the most impressive things I've ever had to do and one of the most emotional things, you know. Those turtles are probably 15 to 20 years old. They've unfortunately ingested plastic due to humans. We've looked after them. We've got them back on track. And they've just been set free into the big wide ocean. It's an amazing day to be involved with. Well, there are many turtles out there today who can attest to the great work that the Reef HQ Turtle Hospital does, but the real message needs to be sent out to the community so they can be aware of the plight of this very ancient species.